Right there guys and welcome. Um, back with another Daisy tutorial sort of guide, probably more of a guide than a tutorial. Um, a little while ago, well quite some time ago, I did a video where I showed you how to make um, separate types.xml files for your modded items. And I basically showed in my video, you put each of your types file inside of this location, inside your mission folder. Now, um, since that video, and I actually thought I did make an updated video, but looking at my videos the other day, I couldn't find one, so it appears that I haven't. But I now changed that. I think I did mention it in the video, actually. But I got a custom folder. Uh, in my case, it's called Custom Types, but you can call it what you want to call it. Um, and I've created this folder, and in here is my custom types files for each of my mods that I've got installed on the server. That obviously requires a types file. Uh, some mods don't, you know, some things like, you know, unlimited stamina and stuff like that. Uh, bigger inventory space, they don't obviously require a types file. But the things that do, they're all in here. Um, so it saves having a big list of XMLs in this folder and making, you know, making it bigger and more difficult to look through. Everything's more organised. So um, it's fairly simple to do. And it's pretty much the same thing as I showed you last video. Um, except you, you pretty much just create a folder and put in the files in this folder and then in the uh, CFG Economy Core uh, XML you just link in that folder so it loads the uh, types files but anyway we'll quickly go over it and uh, we'll show you so what you want to do is create a folder like I said at the start name it to what you want to call it um, and it needs to be in your your mission uh, file mission folder so you know where your, your DB and your, your storage folder and all that this stuff is um, once you've done that, you would basically put your types XML files in here. Um, I'm not really going to go over the types XML files. Uh, I'm not going to show you how you edit them or nothing. But what I will do is I'll show you um, again, just so it's in one video, how you can basically make it so it's a complete uh, types XML file. Because sometimes when you go into mods, quite often actually when you go into mods, they will provide the file for you, but it's not a complete file. Um, and when you make like they basically make when they put it in their mod folder they basically create it so you can just copy it and put it into your default types XML file which is in your DB folder and located here types XML so they basically make it so you copy and paste it um, they don't make it so it's a, like a standalone a complete file so uh, we'll quickly show you that so what we'll do if we we'll go back to my main root of my folder and we're just working with the DRL server here in my case and um, we're going to take ours weapons because I know this is going to be a good example um, if we uh, go into that they've provided uh, a type 6 XML file here and I will mention I think I mentioned it before um, some mod creators don't do this uh, they won't provide you a file sometimes you've got to get it off the Steam Workshop page or sometimes you've got to go on their discord um, but yeah uh, they don't always provide it in the folder um, sometimes they do like you know most of the time you will do it um, I think the main um, like weapon mods and stuff, the main creators, they will provide it. But a lot of the new ones won't. A lot of the people that's new to modding don't always do it. Um, but this is right here inside the the, the at ours weapons uh, mod folder. Sometimes they'll create a, a separate folder in here. Like, you know, you've got an add-ons and a key. Sometimes they'll create an info or they'll create a, a types folder. They'll just create a folder. <coughs> Sorry, they'll just create a folder where trader files types xml files and all that sort of stuff is inside it but like i said in this case it's right here so if we open this up and we can see we've got the file so this is basically ready to go copy and paste and put in your default types xml this isn't ready to go as a standalone um complete types xml file and basically what we need to do to um get this to a complete file is three things or two things really but three things there's three lines um, so what we need to do is if we copy this type dot at the bottom now before we get out of yourself I'm not going to do it here you got to remember now I'm inside the mod files I don't want to do this I don't want to edit anything in the mod files or folders so I'm going to copy this I am going to go into my notepad on my desktop I'm going to open up a new file and I'm going to paste in what I've copied so now we're just working whatever I change here um, it doesn't really matter. I'm not affecting server side at the moment. So basically, like I was saying before, copy this bottom types, bottom type tag, paste it underneath. So we've got two, but at the bottom one, add an S in at the end. Well, not at the end, but at the end of type. 
So it looks like that. You've got a type and a types tag. Then we've got two more lines that we need to put at the top. Now, to get these, um, I don't remember them off the top of my head, top of my head but have I already got a file open? Mm, no. So I don't already have a file open with it. So, to get these, let's just go back to the file. If you go back into your um, server, go into uh, your mission folder again, um, and then go into the DB folder, Go into your types XML, so this is the, the vanilla one. Open that up, and you can see at the top we've got an XML version 1.0 and an encoding, um, and we've also got a types tag. We need to copy these two lines, copy them, and go back to where you posted the, the types from the mod folder in into your notepad set program. And oh, sorry, just I want to put these two lines at the top like that. So they're on separate lines. Um, I, again, I don't think these need to be on separate lines. I think if you really wanted to, you could put that there. Um, so I think these little triangle brackets represent the end of that sort of tag. Uh, but I've always seen them like this. I've always worked with it. Well, they're on separate lines. So basically, make it sure it looks like that. Now, in this file, um, with ours weapons, they haven't actually added any values to a thing. So you would have to go ahead and adjust these. And like I said, you know, all the types of files that you get, you're pretty much going to have to adjust anyway. Um, some people are happy with what the, the mod provider, uh, the mod creator provides, and they'll just keep with the, the normal values. But normally you want to edit the values anyway. So these just have got zero with ours. But um, I think 99.9% 99 .99 of the time, They'll have, they'll have a value in it ready to go um but that's it that makes it a complete file um obviously go ahead and validate it just to make sure so if we um what i'm going to do is if i quickly save this um i would just save it as test i'll overwrite my other test one that's fine and what i like to use is a if i bring it over onto this screen um agree and go to i've got it saved as a, a bookmark thing here but go to daisytypes.pro there are other sites that you can use which you can just copy and paste the xml into daisytypes.pro uses a, a a saved file so you have to save the file and then open that file in it uh, but i like using daisytypes.pro because i find it gives you better results i've used xml validators on on stuff on, on other xml's it comes up fine but then when I put it into this, this picks up more errors. This tells me there's errors where the others didn't. So I like to use this. So you get a complete, you know, you know there's nothing wrong with your file. Now, at the bottom, unless you're working with the Morsk and I think Deer Isle. Um, actually, no. Yeah, I am working with Deer Isle, so I do need to check this. But unless you work with Nor the Morsk and Deer Isle, there may be some other maps. Uh, but most maps don't need to. Uh, but the Morse Deer Isle, you need to click this box. I am a developer. Uh, because uh, Deer Isle uses more, more tiers. I think they've got like 14 or 15 tiers. Where standalone, default, it's only 1 to 4 tiers. Um, so Deer Isle uses more. And the Morsk, they use a different system. Like when you spawn stuff as an area, normally it's like, I think, usage name, military, usage name, police. Or is it value? I think it's usage name. It's either usage name or value name, one or two. But with the Morsk, it replaces the usage with tag or value with tag. So it's tag name. Um, so because it's different, you have to tick I'm a developer. But if you work with Chinaris, uh, Takistan, I think Livonia, uh, Rosto, and probably some other maps. I've not actually used other maps. But you, you don't need to tick this box. You can just tick uh, the green box. But... Because this is with Deer Isle, I am going to uh, tick I am a developer and I'm going to click click here to upload file, find my file which was called test and open that up and we actually have an error. So we have got an error, excellent declaration, first line, no spaces, character line one. So what have I done on this line? Oh, probably that actually. It's recognizing the space. Let's just save it because it said something about like, no spaces would i say and something in those spaces so let me recheck that so it's always worth you know checking your file if you think you know you've done it right i've um, added it all in right it's structured correctly 
it's always worth checking just to make sure because uh, where is it? You don't want to put it in your server and you've got nothing spawning. And there we go. When it comes up on a list like this, which shows you all your values, it's it's working. It's validated. Um, so yeah, that works. Now I know I can actually put this save file into my server, and I'll show you that quickly. Um, now it's not difficult to know how to put it in, but I'll show you. So what I would do is I would, you know, uh, not that one. I don't want that one. So what I would then do is on this, I would I simply copy paste and create new files. But if you want to, you can. Um, I could get that save file and I could save it on my dedicated box because that file is saved on my desktop and not the dedicated one. I just like to create one. But if you're working from the same desktop, you can pretty much uh, go into your, your custom types folder or whatever you, you call it and you can just right click and you can uh, upload. Um, you should just be able to like upload. Yeah, click on like where you saved it to and upload it into that uh, location. But I'm not gonna do that. What I usually do is I would right click, go to new text document and rename it to whatever now you can see i've already got an ours weapons types you know i've already got it in my server for the purpose of the video um you know i'll just rename it example so this is for ours weapons but this is just an example uh so i'm going to call it example example uh dot underscore types oh no hang on Try again. Where did it right? Example underscore types dot XML. It must have XML at the end because that will change it then to an XML uh, file. Press enter. It's just basically saying, you know, you're changing the, the name extension. It might become unusable, but it's going to be fine because Daisy needs to read it as an XML instead of a text file. So that goes there and all I would do is edit it or open it up and then I would then paste in um, my copied uh, edited um, sorry bubble in my throat I would then paste in my copied and edited uh, XML that I've got from the mod you know these would all have the nominal and the min would all have values um, I would then file save and then close out of that and then remembering the name um, it's example underscore types to XML. I would then go into the CFG economy core and this bit I'll uh, try and put in the description but you need to create um, basically if I quickly show you if I just copy that a minute let's just go back to my desktop um, let's just delete that now I would, you basically need to get create this little part so you basically need this, this triangle bracket, CE, space folder, equals, then in quotation marks, the name of your folder that you've created. So in my case, it's custom types, but whatever you call it, you change it. Then underneath, uh, then obviously the, this right little triangle. Then the same E underneath, left triangle, file, space, name, equals, in quotation marks, uh, the name of the file. So in my case, it would be... Uh, there example underscore types dot xml because that's what I called the file uh, close with quotation marks uh, then put a space then the word type equals then quotation mark types because it's a types file quotation mark then this forward line with the right triangle and underneath left triangle forward line CE right triangle uh, but I will put this in the description. Um, you will obviously just have to change the name of custom, the, the folder. So in my case, I've got custom types. If you have yours as custom types, it's fine. You don't need to change it. Uh, but if you do change your name, make sure you change this to the name of your folder. And then the, the file name, you just put this to the name of your actual types XML that you created in, in the custom folder. And then... This stays the same, this stays the same. You would then copy this. Um, and go to your server. Now you would have, so, two seconds. Just so I don't accidentally delete nothing and lose nothing. 
go back to my thing. So this would be right, this would be blank to start with. So come on, where's our my desktop twice? So this would be so this would look something like that. You'd have your defaults and then you'd have your closed defaults tag, but you'd have nothing underneath. So what the bit I put in the description, you basically copy and you put underneath just like that. So you've got your folder equals custom types in my case, the file name, so the name of the file, uh, and it's closed off by the CE tag thing. And then that's it, you'd file, save. Now I'm not gonna save it, cause yeah, <laughs> I just delete stuff I need to. And then basically the server's turn, the, um, the server to read, this uh, is turned to read the custom types folder and to read this types file so the item spawning game now for every types file you create like as you can see i had a big list for every types file you create you just basically add another one of these lines um like so so if you have another types file you know you add in a few mods you generally have quite a few weapon mods or clothing mods and stuff you would just add another line underneath so this folder stuff stays the same and this bottom C tag stays the same. You just have these file names in between the two and then you just change the name here. So in my case, I just copied the boat underscore types XML, but it'd be whatever you call it. Yeah, so hopefully that makes sense. You can do the same with spawnable types. So like with weapons and clothes, sometimes they'll have a spawnable types file, which means, you know, when a weapon spawns, it could have attachment spawner like magazines, a suppressor, a scope, Stuff like that. And all you would do is, if we go back to my server. Um, now we're on my server. If we go back to uh, custom types. You can see here we've got a, a medical supply spawn type. So I've got a medic mod that I've installed. Which has got some extra medical items. So this is the spawnable types for it. Uh, I'm not going to show you how you go in and create one. But it basically works the same. So instead of calling this underscore types.xml. You've got the name of the, the file, underscore spawnable types XML. Then in the economy core folder, um, we've got, it's here, look. Uh, name of the file, underscore spawnable types. So it's not underscore type, underscore spawnable types. And then in this type section at the end, instead of it being types like this, it's spawnable types. So it works for spawnable types too. You've just got to change the, the type of file it is, um, if that makes sense. So anyway, that is pretty much it. Once you've done it, make sure you save it, restart your server, and you should be good to go. If you find, uh, as long as you use the validator on the, the types.xml and everything's working, you've adjusted it right, you've adjusted where it spawns, the tiers and all that. If you find that you haven't got no loot spawning, try um, increasing the numbers a bit more, like the nominal, sorry, bub bubbles in my throat again. Try adjusting the nominal value and the minimum value up a little bit so it's trying to get more spawning across the map. Um, but also try, go to your storage folder. If it's a, a complete new server, no one's got bases, no one's got gears, you can just delete the storage folder and let the server generate a new one. But if, it, if you haven't got that option, just go into it, go into data. And I like to sort of delete the types file. So you've got type 001, type 002, and types.bin. Now, I think you only need to delete the bin file, but I like to delete all three. Um, delete that, let the server generate new ones, and that should also get the um, any new items that you've added spawning. Uh, but apart from that, that should all be good. If you are having trouble and something doesn't to be working, something, yeah, something isn't working, um, my Discord link is on my YouTube channel. Join it and come and speak with me. Write me a message or whatever, um, and I can try and help you out. But as long as you follow that correctly, you've you've what's the word? You've changed the, f the names of the folders and the files correctly, and you've linked everything correctly up. It should be working. Um, anyway, apart from that, that's it. Um, have fun, and I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye bye.